Bow tie, an overview. The bow tie is a type of necktie. A modern bow tie is tied using a common shoelace knot, which is also called the bow knot for that reason. It consists of a ribbon of fabric tied around the collar of a shirt in a symmetrical manner, so that the two opposite ends form loops. There are generally three types of bow ties, the pre-tied, the clip-on, and the self-tie. Pre-tied bow ties are ties in which the distinctive bow is sewn onto a band that goes around the neck and clips to secure. Some clip-ons dispense with the band altogether, instead clipping straight to the collar. The traditional bow tie, consisting of a strip of cloth which the wearer has to tie by hand, is also known as a self-tie, tie-it-yourself, or freestyle bow tie. Bow ties may be made of any fabric material, but most are made from silk, polyester, cotton, or a mixture of fabrics. Some fabrics e.g. wool or velvet are much less common for bow ties than for ordinary four-in-hand neckties. Origin and History The bow tie originated among Croatian mercenaries during the Thirty Years' War of the 17th century. The Croat mercenaries used a scarf around the neck to hold together the opening of their shirts. This was soon adopted under the name cravat, derived from the French for Croat by the upper classes in France, then a leader in fashion, and flourished in the 18th and 19th centuries. It is uncertain whether the cravat then evolved into the bow tie and foreign hand neck tie, or whether the cravat gave rise to the bow tie, which in turn led to the foreign hand neck tie. The most traditional bow ties are usually of a fixed length and are made for a specific size neck. Sizes can vary between approximately 14 and 19 inches, as with a comparable shirt collar. Fixed length bow ties are preferred when worn with the most formal wind collar shirts so as not to expose the buckle or clasp of an adjustable bow tie. Adjustable bow ties are the standard when the tie is to be worn with a less formal, lie down collar shirt that obscures the neckband of the tie. One size fits all adjustable bow ties are a later invention that helps to moderate production costs. The lavalieri is a type of cravat similar to the bow tie that was popularly worn in the 19th century in France. It is of similar fashion to the bow tie but has a larger knot and drooping ends. Stereotypes of bow tie wearers. Des devotees, the bow tie suggests iconoclasm of an old world sort, a fusty adherence to a contrarian point of view. The bow tie hints at intellectualism, rail or feigned, and sometimes suggests technical acumen, perhaps because it is so hard to tie. Bow ties are worn by magicians, country doctors, lawyers and professors and by people hoping to look like the above. But perhaps most of all, wearing a bow tie is a way of broadcasting an aggressive lack of concern for what other people think. Popular perception tends to associate bow tie wearers with particular professions, such as architects, finance receipt collectors, attorneys, university professors, teachers, waiters, and politicians. Pediatricians frequently wear bow ties, for infants cannot grab them the way they could grab a foreign hand necktie. Bow ties do not readily droop into places where they would get soiled or where they could whether accidentally or deliberately, strangle the wearer. Clowns sometimes use an oversized bow tie for its comic effect. Classical musicians traditionally perform in white tie or black tie ensembles, of which both designs are bow ties. Bow ties are also associated with weddings, mainly because of their almost universal inclusion in traditional formal attire. Bow ties, or slight variations thereof, have also made their way into women's wear, especially business attire. There are so professional women, especially in law, banking, and the corporate world, donning very conservative tailored suits, with a rise of almost 6 million units in sales. 
These were often worn with buttoned up blouses, some with pleats up the front like tuxedo shirts, and accessorised with bow ties that were slightly fuller than standard bow ties worn by their male counterparts, but typically consisting of the same fabrics, colours, and patterns as men's t Russell Smith, style columnist for Toronto's The Globe and Mail, records mixed opinions of bow tie wearers. He observed that bow ties were experiencing a potential comeback among men, though the class conscious man recoils at the idea of pre tied bow ties and left wingers recoil at what they perceive to be a symbol of political conservatism. He argues that, however, that anachronism is the point, and that bow tie wearers are making a public statement that they disdain changing fashion. Such people may not be economic conservatives, he argues, but they are social conservatives. In Smith's view, the bow tie is the embodiment of propriety, an indicator of fastidiousness, and an instant sign of nudum in Hollywood movies, but not the mark of a lady's man and not exactly sexy. He attributes the building of this image to the association of the bow tie with newspaper editors because of their fastidiousness with words, high school principals, and bachelor English teachers. Most men, he observes, only wear bow ties of formal dress. Self tie. If choosing a self titty, it you also freestyle bow tie. There are usually two shapes available the bat wing, which is parallel sided like a cricket bat, and the thistle, also known as the butterfly. An example of each can also be seen below, which is worn as a matter of personal preference. Some other shapes do exist, for instance, the diamond point with pointed tips at both ends. This is a double-ended type, with both ends shaped, though occasionally, ties are tied in the single-ended type, in which only one end flares out to give the battering or thistle shape, and the other remains thin. To tie one of these requires careful consideration, to ensure the broader end finishes in front of the thinner one. Self-tie bows. Pre-tie. Shown below on the right is one style of pre to ready tie bow tie. Wearing a ready tied bow tie at formal occasions requiring a black or white tie dress code is usually considered a faux pas, though at occasions such as schools leave as proms or ones at which the participants are unlikely to have had much experience wearing bow ties, it may be commonplace. As shown in the pictures below, Another type of ready tie bow tie is the wind bow tie, a fairly new product made mostly in the US and Canada. Other materials are also in use. An example would be bow ties that are made of natural bird feathers, this too is a fairly new product made mostly in the US and Europe in Poland. Pre-tie bows. Clip-on. A clip-on does not go around the neck but clips to the collar points. Thank you for watching our video on boat tie brought to you by Duke Curific. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye for now.